Good afternoon, Wildcats. Welcome to the Orion's April 3rd webcast. I'm Lexi. And I'm Brett, filling in for Ben. This past three-day weekend paid respect for Mexican-American human rights activist Cesar Chavez. But many, with the beer cans, fake mustaches, and sombreros roaming downtown, celebrated for different reasons. Campus group Movimento Estudiantal Chicano de Chico gathered downtown Saturday in protest for how some students commemorate this holiday. In other news, Phi Kappa Tau fraternity has reason to toast a glass. Their suspension was lifted, allowing the fraternity to recruit for fall 2012. To learn more about these stories and more, visit theorion.com forward slash news. In the opinion section, columnist Lucas Meek argues why students are not equipped to care for a pet in college between the wild parties, the expenses, and the lack of desired attention. Though Chico is finally seeing sunshine, sheets of rain accompanied the 84 volunteer students that ventured to Joplin, Missouri during spring break. Catch the second part of Feature's three-part series following the group as they rebuilt the tornado-struck town. The Japanese Animation Club is calling all comic book fans. The campus club is facing a slight financial setback with the university's new facility usage fees, but it didn't stop the group from putting on this year's mini-con. The event featured a game show, tabletop and video game tournaments, an art gallery, and costume contest. Another campus club who is feeling the financial blow is Inkblot Arts. The organization is dedicated to bringing a supplemental component to the theater program on and off campus while encouraging anyone to try theater. The club is currently rehearsing for their upcoming One Acts. To learn more about Inkblot Arts and other upcoming art events, visit theorion.com forward slash arts. And now to Andrew with sports. Hey there Wildcat sports fans, let's get into the action. It was a big weekend for the softball team as they traveled to Turlock to play in the Mizuno Tournament of Champions. In a weekend that saw 76 games played, the Wildcats ended with a 3-4 record with their last loss in the Platinum Bracket title game to Sonoma State. The Cats are home this weekend in a vital four game series against Cal State Dominguez Hills with the end of the season near and the playoffs in sight. On the baseball diamond, it was junior Jeremy Perez recording his first save as a Wildcat on Sunday, recording three outs with the bases loaded that secured the series split against Cal State LA. The Wildcats continue the road trip this weekend, taking on Cal State San Bernardino in a four-game series a day early, playing on Thursday, a doubleheader on Friday, and finishing up on Saturday. And now for this week's Wildcat of the Week, sponsored by Red Bull. In only her sixth meet in a cardinal and white uniform, sophomore pole vaulter Kelly Gundert broke her way into the Wildcat history books. The San Luis Obispo native posted a 3.14-meter jump in the American River Invitational over the weekend, which placed her eighth in the program's top ten list. And now for the weather with Nicole. Thanks, Andrew, and now for your weather for Chico, California. Say goodbye to that rain we've been seeing a lot and prepare for sunny to partly cloudy skies throughout this week. Starting today in the high 60s and dropping down to mid to high 50s tomorrow and Thursday, but we'll go right back up to warmer weather, ending the week in the 70s. Have a good week, everyone. Now back to you in the studio, Lexi and Brett. In sadder news, this is going to be the last Orion webcast of the semester. Lexi, April Fool's already happened. Just kidding. See you next week, Wildcats.